Hello and welcome back. So, it's a formulation calculation. This is something that is really on popular demand, shall And then, okay. So, um, our focus today is on botanical powders and usage rates, right? Because basically, um, most uh, people have um, issues with uh, the usage rates. Yeah? Uh, of botanical powders yes uh, when you tell them a usage rate of let's say example uh, kojic acid you're like what is that what does that really mean um, now what it really means is the amount it's just like you're taking medication and they tell you two in the morning two in the afternoon and two in the night now following the dosage is what makes the medication um, effective so the same thing too with um, botanical powders they have usage rates so following their usage rates is what makes the um, uh, the product effective when you underuse of course the product is not going to work when you overuse of course it's going to work but it's going to give you a negative result so um our focus today is on actually botanical powders now let me give you an example of one botanical powder let's say the sepi white you understand the sepi white botanical powder is actually this powder is actually um a lightning stroke whitening powder it has strength do you understand it has a very uh strong ability to whiten and even lighten the skin and the usage rate of sepi white usage rate of sepi usage rate of this sepi white powder is um about one to two percent you understand that is the usage rate so most people have problem with this usage rate now they don't know how to calculate this usage rate to function in their product so that is a, this is a very simple one it's a, and it's a very straightforward one example you're making a cream and, and that's why i keep hammering on if you're a student in my class you attending any class i keep hammering on know the weight of your um products stroke ingredients especially when you intend to use a lightening or whitening active do you understand these are actives when you intend to use a lightening or whitening active it's very important to know the weight of your product to start with sure you understand so now when we're making a cream base uh, we have a cream base rather of about 200 gram of about 200 grams right and in this cream base now this is your cream base after all the mixture that is why i always ask you to add your um active last one apart from adding it last you're going to first check the ph because most of these botanical powders not only do they have usage rates they also have um ph levels where they will function better when you carry something like um kojic acid that is actually acidic and you put in an in a, in an extreme alkaline situation it might not work the way you want it to work when you put a very good active like let's say vitamin b3 niacinamide prefers working in a neutral environment when you put it in an extremely alkaline condition it won't function properly it will function but it won't function properly take note and if you put it in an extremely acidic um, condition it also won't function or it will function but won't function rightly so um not only are uh, usage rates important knowing the ph also level of these um botanical powders are very very important so when you finish missing your product you need to balance ph whatever um botanical powder you choose to use good for you but you need to also balance the ph first okay now let's go straight up um 200 grams of base cream is what you want to use sepi white now just know that the percentage rate this is one to two so depending on what you want know that when you put your um sepi white at one percent you're going to have a lightening effect when you put it at two percent you have the possibility of having a whitening effect especially when you combine it with another active are we clear when you're combining so you have to make sure the actives that you're combining have similar ph so that they can coexist you understand <laughs> so basically this is it now 
200 grams of base cream and maybe we intend to put sepi white at two percent do you understand it's a simple mathematics anything percentage we all know is over 100 so it's going to be 2 over 100 times 200 equals to what are we getting is a simple arithmetic you know that kind of thing let's go this way let these zeros cancel these zeros Mm -hmm. What are we left with now? We're basically left with 2 times 2 all over 1, which of course, you know, all over 1 is as good as just 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 here now is what? 4 gram. So in a base cream of 200 gram, you're going to put 4 gram of your sepi white. So basically, that is how to calculate usage rates in your formulation calculation i hope is well understood right all right thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video and see you in another video bye